you. Morning, morning, and welcome back on the Wing Woman channel. Today we talk about something super uncomfortable, which is negotiating salaries. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Valerie. I'm a tech for good investor. In my time of managing a lot of teams, I actually observed five mistakes, very common mistakes, that people tend to make when they think about their salary. So we will talk about those five mistakes so you don't have to make them. To do that, we will actually travel back in time and I want to introduce you to someone. <clears throat> you mind if I sit? Uh, sure. Oh, I forgot that I was wearing these rowing hoodies all the time. Yeah, I know, right? And like, including the socks. <laughs> yeah. yeah, um, how do you start this? Uh, I am you from the future, <laughs> but I don't wear dresses. Ah, yes. Well, at the moment, I know you're thinking that you need to hide that you're a woman to be taken seriously at work, but yeah, don't worry about that. Just be yourself. That's actually the best tip that I can give you in general. Okay. Anyway, today we need to talk about your salary. Okay, cool. So when you accepted this job, did you negotiate your salary? Uh, no. Why did you not negotiate? I don't know. Um, you know, I was so grateful to get the job and I felt like I hadn't really proven myself yet. So yeah, I thought that asking for more money would be ungrateful. When people offer you a job, they always offer you a salary that is below what they actually want to pay because they expect you to negotiate and they want to have room to then, you know, go up to their maximum or to whatever limit. So whenever you take a job in the future, you always negotiate your salary, okay? Yeah, whatever. I mean, I'm just going to work hard and then they're going to see how good I am and then they're going to give me a pay rise. <laughs> Sorry, honey, this is not how it works. Okay. That is mistake number one that a lot of people make, especially women, that they never negotiate their salary and they just believe that by themselves somebody is suddenly gonna notice them and then actually give them more money. And I'm sorry to tell you this, but this is actually not gonna happen. Hey, don't worry about it. You are actually, like we are actually really good at it. I negotiated our salary about three times in the past five years. Oh wow, that's, that's a lot, right? But the key condition is that you understand that if you don't ask, you don't get. And you need to mentally prepare for a whole game plan to actually plan out your salary negotiation, then ask, and then you're gonna get it. Look, to be honest, I'm really afraid of asking for more money. Like, I, I, don't, I, I wouldn't even know where to start. And, and like, this just makes me feel really uncomfortable. Yeah, that's true. Fear is actually a really big barrier for a lot of people to negotiate. Okay, look, I need to go now, but I'm gonna be back soon and then we talk about how you overcome your fear of asking for more money, okay? Great, I'm super excited and maybe then we can go into a double and row and... Uh, um, yeah, okay, she doesn't hear me anymore. If you don't ask, you don't get.